Hey, we got the top five coming up. Pop. Top five Colorado songs from my top man, five. Coach Hart. Top five. And we got somebody in here for you, too. I'm going to get to him. I'm going I'm to I'm let you guess first. I'm going to name this song. Then I'm going to give you the second one. That's, this is the one I want you to guess. The first one is I guess I'd rather be in Colorado by John Denver. Another John, John Denver, Denver song. Back on the list Absolutely. again. John Denver stays on the song. John Denver's got two. He's got two. In the top six. But think about that, man. His last name is Denver. Could you? I mean, you you, you can't make this up. You, that's, I mean, you that's cannot a great make this name up to be a Colorado. Yes, absolutely. You know, representative. But you know what's re really ironic? Wasn't he born in Texas? Isn't he from Texas or somewhere else? I think he was born in. I Texas. think he was born I in Texas. I gotta look at that up. Y'all yeah, help us with that up. information. I think he was born in. I Texas. I think so. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I Another could be wrong. Texan is Don't making things in, good. If you know where John Denver was born. Yeah, right there. that's yeah. exactly right. We'll research that. But I think you're right, Pilot. I think so. Now this song was. Remember me telling y'all, just random things I know that I that have no business to being in my head. And you win a million dollars with this stuff now. Uh, absolutely. Folks get degrees absolutely. and don't make this type of money. Absolutely. He knows a random answer and can win a million yes. dollars, all right? Yes. Now, he said he got this song because it's, it's a story about a man from New York City uh, who's humming a song about the Boulder Canyon uh, in his in, in the lobby waiting for the elevator in New York City and he says so I guess he'd rather be in Colorado than be in New York City That's right. what places would you rather be not in and you rather be in Colorado wait a minute I said that I said you, that you, you kind of said I kind of messed it up though where where would you not rather be and you'd rather be in Colorado That's like right. wherever you are right now drop a line let us know where you are you say I'd rather be in Colorado man then where I'm at right high. now you That's know right Skiing and snowmobiling and snowboarding yeah. and hiking, fishing, uh, elk eating, hunting. Eating Rocky yeah. Mountain North. Eating Rocky Mountain North. Well, doing 14ers. Yeah. 14ers. I, you know I didn't say nothing about the balls. <laughs> uh, hey, we just call them, I'm going to call them the slices because they were sliced. Slice balls. Slice balls. <laughs> so you like, you like them. You little, he likes <laughs> things that taste like chicken gear. That's right. He doesn't like balls. They know they taste like chicken gear. They taste like chicken gear. Never tasted balls before. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, moving on. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Hey, the song is called Colorado. And it's by some people over there. Florida Georgia Line, baby. Florida Georgia hey, Line. You got and, that. And they actually they actually got a little 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 joke in that song that's relating to the John Denver song Rocky Mountain High. Yes, they you know, do. We talked about we talked about Rocky Mountain High. Um, it's not the Rocky Mountain High that everybody here in Colorado wants you to think now. Yeah. You know, it's, it's yeah. like the altitude. That's right. So the, uh, my good friends from Florida Georgia Line said, I'm drunk up in the Smokies on a Rocky Mountain High. And they kind of making fun of the other joke about the Rocky Mountain High. And, it's, and they say something from the bottle and something from the seed. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The seed. Yes. Because <laughs> before you go on to your next one. Yeah. Hey. Did y'all hear, hear his voice? Hey, listen. Did y'all hear go, go, baby? Let's go. That, that melodic voice there. I'm talking about it was soothing for the baby to sleep. It hey, Simon Cowell, yeah. I'm here, baby. Hey, all you guys, Katy Perry, I'm here. We got American time. Idol, right here. We got time. Let's go. Come on, Katy. Come on, Katy. Let's go. Now, here's another one that maybe I can believe this man was talking about the actual medicinal. Yeah. Uh, A Mile High In by Jimmy Buffett. Oh, yeah. I can guarantee you, Jimmy Buffett, <laughs> his mile high is definitely what the folks in Colorado are thinking. <laughs> Ain't no doubt about that. No doubt that. about that. Number nine, yeah. we got you, you know, my young people, my uh, student section, our fans. We got you right now. We did some research. Hey, Aspen by Young Dolph. Our guy huh? from the paper route, baby. The paper route. The young paper Dolph. route. Y'all see him study. He had to figure out where, what community he was from. He didn't want Get it wrong. Get hey, shot listen, up. I got my Young Dolph playlist. I got yeah. it ready and rolling. He do got and, Young Dolph uh, playlist. And I, and I love me some Young Dolph. He does have a Young and Dolph And Aspen playlist. is one of my favorites. In fact, he quoted Young Dolph in a team speech. Ain't no sure doubt. Did. Ain't no doubt. Yes, sir. Tell him about it. Yes, sir. He did. I've been working my whole life, and I ain't never punched the clock. Mm. I mean, come on, man. Let's mm. go. You, you can't mess with me. That a preach when right there, comes, baby. When it comes to Young Dolph, you can't Talk mess up. with me, man. Tell him about it, man. I mean, come on now. Because I'm major. <laughs> I mean, oh, he had another one. I'm major. He yeah. Another. And I can shoot you with 100 shots. Oh. <laughs> I mean, let's go, baby. Oh. Come on. He's ripping hey. them off here. Because I can preach. <laughs> oh. Somebody blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Hit it. Penalty. Penalty. 
15 yard penalty. Unnecessary, no unnecessary roughness. <laughs> Excessive celebration. <laughs> that was good stuff, man. I like that. Absolutely, that was sweet. man. That Absolutely. was good, bro. Come on now. Let's go. Hey, number 10, last one of the day. Lucky Old Colorado by Merle Haggard. Merle Haggard, you know one about of the that legends. One? Legends of country music. Yeah. Right up there with Johnny Cash. So okay. it's, there's no surprise that Johnny Cash and Merle Haggard are in the top 10 he songs. He wore the big Colorado. hat, too, though, on the big oh, yeah. Colorado, I mean, oh, yeah. cowboy oh, yeah. hat. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yep. I like that. Yep. I gotta bring my hat back. Coach had on the white hat. Oh yeah. I'm gonna wear a black one. Good guys wear black. Well, you know what though? It, it really, black. really and truly, according to the the the, ed, ed, the the etiquette of hat wearing, um, after Easter and before Labor Day, you're supposed to wear the the straw cowboy hat, not the felt. So we might need to get us some some straw ones. Mm. I need I need to get that that location because I need to get me a hat. I just okay, I, I need get me a cow hat. lot. The whistle. I'm gonna get it to you. Yeah. Yeah, you, you got to give it to me. You want some straw hats? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Some cowboy hats. Let's go. Now, our heads are big, so get the biggest yes. one. You yes. won't go wrong with that. Seven Start and big. five eighths. Be Seven better. and five eighths. I'm going to tell you. I know it by heart. Seven and five eighths. Get the eight. Just get the eight. <laughs> don't, don't, even, don't even mess with it. Get the eight. We'll be fine with that. Um, oh, man. What else we had today? It was something else we had going on. I'm trying to think. I can't think either, man. Hey, we get so, with so much happened with the spring game this weekend, and it then, did. and then you know the, the the whistle being the hit phenomenon it has become, you know the the source of information for people in Colorado, you know we uh, we are your you know, local Coloradians. Hey, I do want to say this, uh, you know I, I give a little shout out to a couple more restaurants here in town, mm. you know, Steakhouse Number Three Sixteen, ooh, the Cowboy Ribeye, ooh, it was good, ooh, son. It was I good. went there, that that thing just melts in your mouth. Now, let me tell I you mean, now. it just melts. You need to take your girl there. Yeah, that, that's no a doubt. Place. Take your girl. You take hey. your girl, your wife, you yeah. know. You try Listen, to... boys, hey, that's not a first date place. Mm -mm. That's not a first mm -mm. date place, because mm -mm. you're going to drop something. You're going to drop you a couple on, in that place now, mm -mm. okay? So don't don't let no girl talk you into taking her there for one date, and mm -mm. then the next day she ghosting you in your DMs. That's well, right. she's been blowing you up, and then the, and you take her to 316 and get that nice meal, and, and she she going to get that bottle of wine and everything, and then the next day you text her, and she's like, nothing, that's ghost. Little... That's I mean, she's she like casting all that. I'm just telling. I'm just. You? I'm not, there ain't nobody done me that you? way. I just know how it works. You tell me who it was, dog. We gonna, we gonna <laughs> no. ride tonight. Hey, listen. I told you. I got a rule. My first dates are two drink, two drink limits. We go out. We have two drinks. That's it. My first date. We always go somewhere. We have to pay first. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yeah. Hey, I like that. Yeah. Well, you That's a pay great. First. Hey, McDonald's, listen, yes. Burger King, Tyler, yes. all places where you pay at the register. Counter service. Counter, counter service. service. That's yeah, right. That's good yeah, first date. Pay first. So yeah, that's that's a great that's great advice. So you, so you young fellows out there in the dating world, you either get counter service or you go somewhere and you just tell us straight up, listen, we're gonna go for drinks. It's two drinks only, and uh, we'll enjoy our night. And then if we like each other after that, then we can talk about going to Steakhouse number three sixteen. Yeah, yeah. Hey, don't forget Pasta Jays. Oh yeah, Pasta Jays. Jays. Gotta have Pasta He's Jays. A staple. Listen, I took my daughters to Pasta Jays the other night. Great meal. Great, Great meal. meal. As always, comes through in the clutch. Mm. It's Italian. a home run. Italian. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's good stuff. A little Italian. Yeah. yeah. Coach, it's been another episode of Whistle. Another episode's down, baby. Great hey, episode of Whistle. We need to get the poll about the merch. Should what merch should we sell? Should oh, yeah, we, uh, and, and should we just do it at all? Or is that something that we, we shouldn't even try to do? But yeah, I, think, yeah, I think it's something we should definitely do. We should know? think about it. We need some ideas to think about it. You tell me, yeah. Yeah, our people, tell us what's up on the whistle.